Hello, welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. It's not Friday, but I'm doing a Friday Sews. Hashtag Friday Sews. I've forgotten how to do this. If you want to know what I've been shopping for, not making, then please stay tuned. Okay, so in this Friday Sews, which I'm filming on Saturday, again, I haven't made anything, so we're just gonna skip right past that part. And I'm gonna talk to you about what I've been shopping for. So instead of doing a separate fabric and thrifting haul, I'm gonna combine those two here in Friday Sews. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is my thrifting adventure that I had with my friends Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room and Trish from Pinky's Farm. I know you guys are all watching them already, they are super lovely ladies and so much fun. We had a blast hanging out all day and Jen was so generous driving us all around um, her town. We hit, I think, five different thrift shops and um, they made out like bandits. I did pretty good, but I didn't come nearly as, I, I didn't do nearly as much as they did. So what I've discovered as I've thrifted a little bit more and more is that I am not the treasure hunter type. I don't like to get in there and dig in and look at every little thing. I have my preferences for color as we all know. And so I find it easy to just go in and scan through the racks for colors that pop out at me. If the color doesn't pop out at me, it doesn't really matter what the style is or any of that. So color is primary for me. So um, with that said, let me share with you what I picked up um, the day that I went thrifting with two of my sewing buddies. All right, so I don't remember what I got at which place, so I'm not even gonna try and attempt to say that. So I'm just gonna go through my stacks. All right. So from a fabric perspective, I got this really pretty hot pink linen, and it's actually a piece of fabric. It was, uh, the note on it said that it was like two and a quarter yards, but it was clearly cut into, there was like a big like cut jagged edge. I cut that off, I surged the edge and I washed it. And this is a heavier weight linen. Um, it's not like super drapey, but it's, um, it's not lightweight, but it's really pretty. It's really nice. It's kind of scratchy. So it's not something that I would use as like a shirt or a dress, but I think I would like to make a pair of pants out of these. And um, right now, the only pant pattern that I'm interested in making is the poppy pant from Sinclair Patterns. I've made a couple of those and they're the, my perfect basic pan. It's elastic waist. They, um, Sinclair Patterns makes patterns for different height people and I'm only 5'1". So um, I had to make a couple of adjustments to the width. I had to size down from my measurement. Actually, <laughs> um, since the last time I've made those pants, I've lost about 15 pounds. So I'm probably going to have to reevaluate. I got them to fit perfect. <laughs> and now they're probably too big. So I, but I still love that pattern. So I think that that's probably what these are gonna end up being, what this fabric is gonna end up being. Um, so that's one. The next one was kind of funny because Lynn, um, Jen and Trish were, Jen was holding this and her and Trish were like, you should have it. No, you should have it. Like they were arguing over the other one having it. <laughs> not fighting over it for themselves. So I just reached in and grabbed it because I was like, somebody's gotta have it. So I took it and it's this fun, like obviously like checkered fabric in these pretty pastel, you know, muted colors. They're beautiful colors. And I think this is a tablecloth. It's like a square or rectangle tablecloth. The edges are already hemmed. Um, but it's not a curtain or anything like that. So it does feel, I actually think there's a tag on it that says it's 100% cotton, which makes me happy. Yeah, it's 100% cotton. Um, yeah, so I can definitely use that for a top. I actually have a new pattern that I think I'm, I'm excited about making. Uh, well, I know I'm excited about making it, but I think it's gonna be um, one that I go to time and again because it has, um, 
it's like the perfect canvas for color blocking and pattern mixing and whatever. So I think this could be a, a good candidate for that top. And it is the Collage Gathered Top by Matchy Matchy Patterns. I think that's what it's called. I'll put a picture of it somewhere up here. Um, and I just got the printed pattern from PDF Plotting. So I'm gonna cut that out this weekend and I'm looking forward to making that in some kind of array of fabrics really soon. So yeah, that's another thrifted one. This one, it was ticketed $6 and I'm pretty sure that almost every shop that we went to that day had 50% off going on. So I'm pretty sure I got this whole thing for three bucks. All right, um, that's all the fabric that I got thrifting. I also got a couple of things to paint. So I've been watching this woman on Instagram. Her Instagram account is Ann Upton Art, and I'll put a link to it in the description box, but I'll see if I can do a screenshot of her artwork up here. Make sure I'm, and I'm giving her credit because her stuff is absolutely gorgeous. It's right up my alley. Some of you, obviously, I know a lot of people aren't into color like I am, but the things that she does with um, antiques or just like um, really elaborate frames and mirrors and things like that are right up my alley. So I got this frame. Oh, you can see my messy room. So I got this frame. It's metal but I'm pretty sure I can paint this. And it says that it was 45, but it was half off, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, it's a really nice quality piece. And I am gonna paint this in a an array of colors. I bought a spray paint kit full of either six or eight colors, I forget, that are all colors right up my alley. Um, and it's called the Artist Kit. And I'm gonna find, a, I gotta find a place, first of all, um, that I can do this without making a huge mess, but I'm painting that. And I also got this picture frame for 99 cents, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna paint this one in lots of fun colors. I also, so I don't know if you saw Jen's video where she got this humongous stack of sewing books. Um, I definitely, like, I love books, but for learning how to do things, I have bought some reference books, but I don't tend to reference them. I end up going to YouTube. So I didn't really think about buying any of the sewing books, but when I saw this one, I had to get it. So it's everything you ever wanted to know about fabric painting. I haven't really looked through it yet, but um, I am excited about playing around with some fabric painting. So that was a good buy. Then... Um, my, Trish, who is, I'm, both of the ladies are unbelievably generous, kind souls. Jen toted us around all day. She cooked a delicious dinner for us. Trish brought gifts. <laughs> so Trish has, um, a Poshmark store and she does a lot of thrifting in order to sell on Poshmark. I will link her Poshmark store up below. But um, because she is so good at thrifting and she knows how much I love color and she is really good at personal shopping for both of us. <laughs> so she had gone thrifting and she saw this shirt and she said it made her think of me, so she bought it for me. I mean, isn't that the best? But I mean, <laughs> tell me that she's not right. Look at this. This is a sheer, I don't know what kind of fabric it is. What does it say? It says cotton spandex, but there's no stretch in this. Or am I not reading it right because I don't have my glasses on? That's definitely a possibility. Anyway, it's a very sheer fabric, um, but the print on this is absolutely to die for. It's a button-up shirt and it actually buttons up the back. Is that not so fun? And guess what? She did an excellent job because it actually fits me. So I was thinking I would have to use this as fabric for something, maybe one of my matchy-matchy tops, and that might still be a possibility, but I really love the fact that this buttons up the back and because it fits me, I think I'm gonna keep it as it is. Um, Let's see, I'm gonna put it on because 
coincidentally, it looks perfect over the top that I'm wearing. But look, is this not fabulous? The sleeves are a little bit long because I've got T-Rex arms, but I can easily just roll those cuffs up and be super happy. But how gorgeous is this? Love it. Thank you, Trish. And she had um, some thrifted, she had done a thrift haul in one of her videos of things that she was going to put up on her Poshmark store. And I reached out to her and said that I wanted to buy these, this sheet set from her because, I mean, that's me. Um, I'm not going to use them as sheets. I'm going to use them as fabric, but it's the whole set. And that lovely lady wouldn't let me pay her for it. She just brought it as the gift. And so I have to do something fun and fabulous with this. Um, and I love it. Thank you, Trish. All right. So that's everything that I thrifted when I was out thrifting with the girls. And then on July 4th, we decided to get together again <laughs> and we drove up. So Jen and I live further south in Florida and Trish lives kind of middle mid state. And so we met, we met together, Jen and I drove together and Trish met us at um, the sewing studio in, I think it's in Maitland, Florida. It's outside of Orlando and they were having a 40% off sale. So we did a little damage. Um, let me share with you what I got there. All right. So the first thing that I got was, <laughs> look at that. There's like rainbow colors in there. It's rainbow threads. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's also some gold Lorex thread in there. And this is a linen. It was called Lorex linen or linen Lorex or something like that. And it's kind of, um, I would say it's an off-white, creamy, kind of a background color. But then it's got all those rainbow stripes with the shiny. So I felt like I had to have it. And like I think I already said, everything was 40% off. So, um, all right, I'm going to show you. All right, so then this one is a Ruby Star Cotton. And I loved it because it just felt Florida to me. <laughs> it's, um, it looks very like a watercolor painting. How gorgeous is that? And it's just sea life. Beautiful colors, beautiful painting look. Um, and although it is a cotton, it's very drapey. It's not a stiff cotton. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to make with that, but something soon. This one is one of my favorites. This one is a rayon crepe. Look at the color saturation in this and it's so drapey. I got three yards of everything because that's what I, that's my default when I don't know what I'm going to make. That way I can make a dress if I want to, or I have enough to make a full, a top with like, you know, puffy sleeves or whatever. So I just, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, this one has to be some kind of a flowy dress. That's a, it has to be. <laughs> this is a linen. So they had some absolutely gorgeous linens. There was one that was this gorgeous print, but that one, even at 40% off was, I just wasn't willing to do it. Um, but this one is like, um, I don't know, like it's a, it's a purple, it's a bluish purple, but it's definitely purple. And I don't know if you can see the texture in there. It's got like um, tone on tone stripes in there. And um, this one, um, I've already mentioned that I'm hosting the So Purple to End ALZ challenge again, this time in September instead of October. And I have a boatload of collaborations scheduled for the month of September. So I'm going to be sewing a lot of purple things for the month of September. So I needed some purple fabrics and I just thought this was gorgeous. I don't know which project I'm going to use it for yet, but this will get sewn up in the next couple of months. And then finally, I got this unbelievably gorgeous um, panel. So this one, Jen had seen, and I saw that giant flower in the middle and I was like, oh my God, I have to have that. And um, 
the only thing that this that can be made with this is a maxi dress because you have to be able to show off this flower. I mean, seriously. And what's interesting is we thought there were two different color panels, but as you as you like scroll up, you see there's this like green patch of green at the bottom of the panel. So I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know if the green, like, I don't know what's gonna, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna work. I'll make it work though, cause I gotta have that flower. So I'm always jealous of Jen and her gorgeous shower curtains that she gets to make those gorgeous maxis with. Um, and I've never been as lucky as her in finding a gorgeous shower curtain. And so that's kind of my version of copying her shower curtain dresses. All right, so that's it for my two shopping adventures with my lovely ladies. And now I've got another shopping haul um, of fabric that I bought during the Memorial Weekend sale. And well, not all of these, but most of them. Okay, so my Memorial Weekend shopping spree wasn't too terrible. I only got four pieces of fabric from Joann's. They were having 60% um, off of some of their fabrics. So again, I knew I was, at the time, I was planning on doing this uh, purple challenge. So I bought this plum colored double gauze. It's already been washed and it's like, it's like heaven. It's so soft and cushy. It's like cushy. So one of my collaborations is going to be sewing some PJs. And so this fabric is going to be for that. I mean, double gauze PJs. Come on. All right. This fabric I bought knowing that I would dye it. I wasn't thinking about the purple challenge, but I think this is going to have to be for that. So this is a white eyelet or as my lovely English ladies like to call it, broderie anglaise. And it's just, it's beautiful. Um, it's just these little circles with the um, dots in between. And I am going to make some kind of a tiered dress probably, or even maybe a tiered top, like a tunic length top maybe. And I'm going to dye the panels in solid shades of purple. So I'm gonna try and do like, I think I'm gonna do like an ombre effect, but not ombre dip dyeing. I'm just gonna dye each panel separately in a different shade of purple that kind of goes from light to dark. And I'm excited about that. I think it's gonna be gorgeous. Can't wait. Um, and then I've got two pieces of interesting fabric that I have no idea what I'm going to do with, but I couldn't pass up the print. So this, they're both spandex fabrics. I'm probably going to make some leggings out of this because let me see if I can show you. Whoopsie. I mean, this is a super stretchy four-way stretch, but look at that. It's an animal. It's like a snakeskin print, but it's got that oil slick print in, embedded in it. And I, I can't resist a good oil slick print. So I thought that was gorgeous. Even though it's not my usual like bold colors, I still think I like it. Um, and then this next one, I just, again, it's like a, I think it's too thin for leggings or anything like that, but it's another like lycra spandexy kind of a fabric. But it's, I couldn't resist the iridescence. It just makes me happy. So I think this one's probably gonna be a t-shirt. I don't know, maybe that won't work in this kind of fabric, but I wouldn't wear this color leggings. So it's definitely not gonna be leggings. What would you make or, or would you not? But I, I just, I couldn't resist. Um, all right. And so that's all my fabrics from Joann's from Memorial Weekend. I've only got two pieces of fabric left. Okay. This next one, and these are both Ankara prints, Ankara wax fabrics. This first one, 
I bought on Etsy and I can't remember the seller's name, so I'll put it on the screen. Um, but I loved this one because it kind of, um, it's got these bold colors. It's got all these circles all over it. They're all different shapes. Well, they're all different sizes. They're all circles, so they're not different shapes, but um, it's, it's a border print because it goes from this, I don't know if, it goes from this like bigger, like turquoisey color. Um, and it's on, it looks like it's a, it's a dark background, but I'm pretty sure it's, oh, it is a black, it's either black or it's dark navy. I don't usually like black background fabrics. They're just not usually my thing, but I couldn't resist the colors and the dots. And you can see it goes from this turquoise, turquoisey and yellow and some, they got some lilac in there, all the way down to these yellows and oranges. So it's, it's a border print and I love the colors. And so my goal is to make something for Ankara Appreciation Week, which starts Monday the 11th and goes through the weekend. Um, and so yeah, I wanna make something with that yet to be determined. <laughs> no pressure. And then finally, my last piece of fabric, I bought um, another piece of Ankara fabric because one of the people that I'm doing, um, a collaboration with in September for So Purple to ALZ, um, ha already had an idea of what she wanted to do. I'm leaving it up to the collaborators to d pick our project because there's no way I could come up with that many ideas. So she wants to make something in Ankara fabric. So I bought this Ankara fabric. Look at the colors in that. And it's mostly purple. I got this from House of Mommy Wata. I love House of Mommy Wata so much. Um, actually, I think I got this one on Etsy and that other one from House of Mommy Wada. I can't remember. I'll clarify on the screen. But I love this piece. I love the purples. It looks, it almost looks like, um, almost looks like a stained glass window kind of, but the colors are beautiful and it's mostly purple. And so I can use that for the challenge. All right. Um, and then I have... A Wawak purchase. I don't remember what I got. This got delivered a few days ago. I'm pretty sure I got some serger threads. Um, I might have gotten a, I think I got a new pair of snips. I can't 100% remember, but let's see. Okay, so I bought a bunch of different variegated serger threads. So I'm not going to take them out of the package, but hopefully you can see in the bottom there. I figured I'd get a few with purples in them since I'm gonna be sewing a lot of purple coming up. I did get two of these. I got this fun pink one. I got two of these pastel-y kind of ones. I think I will probably mix these four, the two pastel ones and the two purple ones. tell and then oh yeah this one I've already shown you all right so lots of variegated serger threads I got a new pair of snips I've never had this kind before take it out of the package so you get any glare I've never had this kind I've always only used like little scissors um, but I see people using these they look like they're easier I don't know, maybe not, but we'll see. And then I got some fusible interfacing because I'm out of my lightweight interfacing. All right, that's everything I've shopped for lately. Um, all right, so the last thing I wanna share with you is this um, voodoo doll. So my friend Mari from Mari Sews has a, um, a small business and she calls it Inspired Leather Co. And she makes gorgeous hats, handbags, and she's recently added these fun pin cushions to her website. So she gifted me this one and I love it so much. She actually um, laser printed on the legs for me different um, 
different needle types. So I know that like on this arm, I've got my hand sewing needles. On this arm is my universal sewing needles. Um, this one is Microtex and this one is Stretch. Um, but she will soon be launching kits where she gives you all the components that you need to hand sew your own voodoo doll pin cushion. Actually, she's doing more than just the voodoo doll. I think she's also doing the Pac-Man ghost. Um, and so right now she's in testing phase and I was honored to be one of her testers. And um, so I made my own. How cute is this? Um, so I, the, I think that this is so much fun. And if you're a sewer, people are using them for knitting to mark, like to keep track of their stitches or their rows or whatever. And I had so much fun. This was a lot more meditative than I expected it to be. But like I said, she's still in testing phase with her kits to make sure the instructions are easy to follow. She's got a tutorial video to make sure the material quantities are all appropriate. So I think she'll be releasing the kits pretty soon. I have no idea what they're gonna um, retail for, but I mean, come on you guys, is that not the cutest thing with the rainbow hair? Um, I'm not sure if she'll have kits with different color hair, but the rainbow hair was fun. So I definitely am happy that I got that. And it was really, um, I enjoyed making this. Like I really enjoyed it. So I just wanted to share that with you. I have, now I have a, a brother and a sister. Hansel and Gretel. That's what I'm going to call them. Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> um, okay. So the last thing is life. I don't have a whole lot going on. Um, my husband's coming home tomorrow and he'll be home for a whole week. So I'm taking half of next week off and we're going to probably go to a beach getaway, not too far from here, but we're going to go and rent like a little cottage on the beach for a couple of days. And then over the weekend, my sister-in-law and my nephew on the other side, my other brother's um, wife and his youngest son are going to be coming to an island near me and they're going to hang out there for the week. And then on Friday, when we get home from our little getaway, we're going to go and meet up with them um, in Sanibel and have dinner with them um, Friday night. So I'm very excited. I have a fun week coming up. There won't be a lot of sewing again because I won't be home very much. But um, yeah, that's kind of all I got going on. Wherever you are, I hope the weather's amazing. I hope you're able to get some sewing in and I will talk to you next time. Bye.